Hey guys, what's going on today? I'm going to do a vinyl slash CD update. Um, so I got three new albums today, uh, two of which the uh, CDs came in the mail. Um, since I got an Amazon card from one of my relatives for Christmas, so I ordered some CDs with that that aren't on print on vinyl. And then um, with a Visa card I got from my, one of the things I got from my parents for Christmas, uh, I went to Ryan Record Day and I picked up a new record. Today, so I'll show the CDs first and then the record. I got some really great stuff, so three classic metal albums. Um, two are thrash, or actually one's thrash, one's thrash slash death metal, and then one's death metal. Okay, so, first CD is Exodus with Bonded by Blood. Very classic thrash album, and one of the first thrash albums. Really good. So anyways, uh, this isn't available on vinyl, um, it's out of print, which kind of sucks, but oh well. So it's pretty nice to have the CD, though it is the censored album cover, which is pretty weak. But, I don't know, what can I complain about? It's kind of hard. I couldn't find it with the uncensored artwork, which is a lot cooler. Uh, which has, like, two babies, like, like deformed, and they're kind of, like, stuck together. It looks really cool, and one's evil, and one's good. Anyway, so, yeah, it just has a picture of, like, a mosh pit or a crowd or something on the front. And it has a logo, and it says, Bond of My Blood. On the back, you have a really corny-looking picture of the band. It's kind of funny how, like, they're trying to call badass and thrash, but he has, like, short shorts and stuff. It's kind of funny, but, you know. This came out in the 80s. Uh, I think it came out in 85, though. It was, it was originally planned on being released in 84, so the release was delayed of this album when it first came out. But anyways, so the disc is pretty... The disc cover is pretty simple. It's just red, and then it has a logo and track listing. And the booklet's also really simple. Let me get that out. It's just the, It just folds out into just this with the track listing and then the credits, and that's it. So not too much. But the album is fantastic. So, the first song, Bottom by Blood, is a classic. It has a really good thrash riff. Um, so, yeah. The second song, Exodus, has really good violent lyrics. And this whole album, the song's about, like, killing people and really nasty stuff like that. So, it's really entertaining and awesome. And, yeah, Exodus is a good song. And then There Were Nud has a really, really good intro riff. It sounds kind of like uh, Metallica's Seek and Destroy. Like, it has a similar rhythm. But it's a lot heavier, obviously. And this album's really similar to Metallica's Kill Em All, except it's a little bit heavier and it's a little bit better in my opinion. And so, yeah, and then there were none is one of the best songs on here. A Lesson of Violence is definitely my favorite song on here. It has these really disgusting lyrics that are really awesome. And then, um, it's basically talking about, like, killing someone. And, and like, yeah, the, um, Paul Bailoff's vocal performance on here is fantastic. Um, he's definitely my favorite ex vocalist from Exodus. Uh, the guy after him, Steve... Uh, or Zetro or whatever, he's uh, um, he sounds kind of like what's his face from ACDC, just with a more metal, like a more thrash version. And then the other guy, uh, Rob Dukes, he's he's pretty good too. But obviously Paul Bailoff is the best vocalist, and it's kind of sad that this is his only album with him, and I think he's dead now. But anyways, so yeah, uh, Lesson of Violence is my favorite on here. Really good riff. Metal Command is all right. Kind of corny lyrics, you know, like songs about where metal bands sing about metal, like. Like this song, and they have, of course, if a song has metal in the title, it's obviously gonna be a little corny, but it's still a good song. You know, like songs like Metal Metal Command or like Metallica's uh, um, Metal Militia and stuff like that. It's a little corny, but it's pretty good. Piranha is another one of my favorites on here. It's actually the first Exodus song I ever heard. That's a really good song. It has a really great guitar riff and really really nice lyrics that are really cool. Is yeah, uh, No Love. Uh, at first, when I heard the intro of that song, which is like an acoustic intro, I thought it'd be like a really corny love ballad, and then I face palm was like, oh no. And then you hear the lyrics, and then the song's really fast and thrashy, and the song is basically about killing a girl. So yeah, really interesting song. Um, so it's like a more uh, imagine like a more vulgar dead eye, my darling, basically. So yeah, deliver us to evil is okay. Striker the beast is really good, and there's two bonus tracks on here, and then there were none and a lesson in violence, uh, but they're live. They're just a live track, so those songs are all around the album, but. I don't know, I, I didn't really listen to them. I only listened to a little bit, like, the first few seconds of each, and they're both kind of average. I don't know, I'm not a really big fan of bonus tracks on CDs. But anyway, so, yep. Ooh, next one is a really good one. Sepultura's Arise. Uh, Sepultura is one of my favorite thrash bands, and I'm really glad I have this album now. I've listened to them uh, on the internet for a, long, for a while now, a couple months. Anyways, really great, so... Um, this is a thrash slash death metal album, really good. And if you only listen to... If you listen to punk or hardcore, and you want to get into metal, this is a good place to start, because it's real, it has a really good punk sensibility, I guess, um, but it's also, it's also very, very heavy, anyway, so, the album cover's really cool, I have no idea what the heck that thing is, but it looks really cool, 
And so yeah, and then on the back you have a picture of the band. They look kind of funny in the picture, but whatever. And when you open it up, yeah, it actually has a clear uh, tray, which I really love. So you have like a picture of like some like um, artifacts or whatever there. And the artwork direction on this album is really cool. And, it's, and their disc cover has their, their S logo. And then booklet's really cool. So you have more artwork on the back. The artwork for this album is really cool. So there's all of that. Lyrics. There's pictures of the band. Mexico or whatever. Uh, actually looks kind of badass in that picture. This is actually my favorite album from Sepultura. I also really like Beneath the Remains. And their first album, Morbid Visions. I actually haven't listened to their second one. Um, uh, what's it called? Um... Uh, schizophrenia, and then Roots Bloody Roots is really good, uh, but it's very different. I don't really like anything they did with the other vocalist, though. I feel like he was just kind of... Mm. After Max Cavalera left, uh, everything else is kind of bland. Anyways, so, the first song in here, the title track, is definitely one of the best songs on here. It's really heavy and fast, and it has a really weird intro that like, has, like, tribal beats or something. I like how they mix thrash and death metal, and but they also mix, like, uh, like, tribal beat, tribal stuff, and, uh, but also some like uh, maybe even like it's called um, like industrial on here. It's kind of cool. Um, they did that. I think they did that the most though on the Roots Bloody Roots album, or just I think it's just called Roots, but the song is called Roots Bloody Roots. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's a good album. That's probably the most successful. But this one's my favorite from them. And yeah, the second song, Dead Embryonic Cells, is very good. It's a little bit more mid paced, but it's also really heavy and has some really ripping guitar riffs. And really cool. Desperate Cry is a little bit more mellow, and it's actually really good because it's really Really, uh, kind of, like, creepy sounding almost. It's really good. Murder is good. So is Subtraction. Altered State is another one of the stronger songs on here. Really good. Under Siege has, a, like, an intro that has the, like, uh, what's it called? Um, you know, like, tribal beats, kind of, like, with drums and stuff. And then right after that, then they go right into, um, like, uh, kind of an industrial kind of thing. And then they start playing thrash and death metal. But yeah, a good song. Meaning with Movements is good. Infected Voice is the last song on the, the official album. But after that, they have a, a handful of bonus tracks. You have Orgasmatron, which is a cover from Motorhead, which is pretty good, but it's a little corny. And then you have, like, uh, alternate mixes and stuff and unreleased songs. So, yep, yeah, very good album. Alright, so the record I got at Running Records today is Death, Scream, Bloody Gore. This is a fantastic album. First death metal album and first death album. So, yeah, I got Leprosy earlier this month. And I also wanted to get this one, so I'm glad to have this now. So the album cover, really awesome. I love the artwork on their first three albums by the guy who, um, I forgot his name, but he also did the album cover from uh, Peace Cellos from Megadeth. And I think he did Rest in Peace as well. And, it was, and he also has done some album covers for bands like Municipal Waste. But anyway, so yeah, you have a foil over the logo and the album tile, which is really cool. So yeah, really nice album cover. And you have a rough draft on the back, like with my Leprosy record track listing. Pretty the same layout. So the insert folds out. You got pictures, lyrics, and writing, and all that. And then you have more lyrics and pictures. Yep, nice insert. White dust sheet. Some black. Anyways, um, there's the other one. So yeah, really nice artwork. All right, so this is definitely a very solid album. The, the remix is really good. My little sister's screaming in the background, sorry if you hear that. Anyways, so, so many good songs on here. The, the first song on here, Infernal Death, is probably my second favorite on here. Really nice intro with Chuck Soldinger screaming, Die, and then you have a really good guitar riff and all that. Zombie Ritual is another very good song, really popular death song. It has a really, really kind of cool intro that's really different, especially for a death metal band. Denial of Life is okay. Sacrificial is one of my favorite songs on here. Really, really gory, nasty lyrics. Um, and it might be considered offensive, actually, but yeah, really, really kind of eerie and creepy sound. Mutilation is good. A lot of people say it's homophobic, because he says, I celebrate a faggot's death, human disgrace. Honestly, I don't think he's being homophobic. I think it's like the same story with Descendants, I'm not a loser, how it's like, these are different times, and he was just using that word as an insult. I don't know, because I don't think Chuck Shulman was a homophobic person, just it's like, because he's a really, um, I don't know, if you know who Chuck Shulman was, and he was a really, like, Obviously, I didn't know him, but from my research, he's a, he was a pretty like peaceful person. He was basically a hippie. I, I don't think that it was really homophobic. Regurgitated Guts is cool. Really gory lyrics. Baptized in Blood is my favorite song here. It's actually the first death song I ever heard. And it's um 
I heard that and then I listened to some Bullock, but anyways, fantastic song. Really nice screams from Chuck Schuldiner. So you have Torn to Pieces is good. Evil Dead has a really nice intro that sounds really different from everything else on here. The title track is good. He has, has a really nice chorus where he says Scream Bloody Gore, obviously. Beyond the Own Holy Grave is good. And Land of No Return is also really good. Pretty short, but yep. Yeah. So yep, yeah, it's a pretty good length, good length for the album, too. It's not too long, but it's not too short. It's like around half an hour long. And it's really good, really heavy. It's pretty much a thrash album, but what makes it a death metal album is the vocals, obviously. Um, this, a lot of people say this is the first death metal album, and I have to agree. A lot of people say Possessed Seven Churches was, but that, in my opinion, that was more of just a really heavy thrash album. Um, but yeah, this is definitely the first death metal album. If you want to get into death, this is a good place to start. This or some Bullock are really good places to start. Um... It was actually the first two Death albums I heard. Actually, I couldn't decide if I should have gotten this or some block because the three albums that they had at Rhino Records were uh, this one and then Leprosy, which I already have, and uh, some block, which is another one of my favorites from them. So overall, I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely check out all these albums if you want some good metal. So I uh, hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.